Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to make a rotating table like this which you can use to keep things on it and paint. So it is going to be a very interesting video guys. So see that you like the video now only. So come on let's start the video. So guys first I will show you how I have cut the pipe. So first I have taken a pipe like this and on one end of the pipe I have made it curve like this and on one side I have made it slanting like this. I have made this slanting because I have cut a smaller piece which I will join like this. So like this four ends are there and this small piece is also I have four. So I am making the base for my table which will be touching the floor now these are the two small pipes whose one slide is slanting and one side is curved like this type two pieces you need and one 50 centimeter long pipe like this now these two small pipes i will connect in the middle like this and then in the middle i will join a pole like this which will be the main table pole on which i will be putting the bearing then one more pipe i have here on the side of which the ends i have made curved already as you can see here now this pipe i will cut in the middle straight and one more pipe is there which is still needs to be cut and then i will join both the pieces so here I have made ready my bottom and the top of the table but first I will prepare my base so wherever I will be doing the welding I will use a grinder and grind it a little bit so that the metal will get exposed and the welding job will get easy and as you guys can see after doing the grinding the metal is shiny and exposed on the edges now it will be easier to weld these parts now the base pipe is 50 centimeters long so I will take the midpoint of this pipe which is 25 centimeters and I will mark it and on the midpoint also I will take a grinder and grind a little bit because I I will be doing welding here also and when your metal is exposed it becomes easier to do the welding job so once you are done with the grinding the pipe will look something like this nice and shiny now you can take the marking and put the other two pipes in position and now i will start to do the welding job So once I join the two small pipes to the one long pipe, it will look something like this. As you guys can see, it looks like a cross now. First you put a tag and fix both the pipes and then weld on all the sides. Once you put them on the right place, now it's time to weld on all the sides. Once you do the welding, the next thing is the small pieces that I have made ready. That I will join now on all the pipe ends like this. So keep them in place and use a vice flare to keep them in position till you put a welding tag on it. Once you put a tag on it, now it's time to weld on all sides. So once you are done welding it on all the sides it will look something like this. So like this you will have to join the rest of the three as well. And once you join all of them use a grinder and flatten your welding job. So that your finish will look good. Now I am not a professional welder. I only know how to use these things. It is the reason why my welding looks very fat and unprofessional. So it becomes very important for me to grind the spot where I have welded. Because it is lots of ups and downs. So once I grind the spot my weld job will look something like this. Which looks very good actually. So my stand base is ready as you guys can see so i will keep it on the floor and i will test it now by standing on it and as you guys can see my base is now very very strong so like this i will prepare two tables as you guys can see i have prepared two bays which are nice and ready so now i will make ready my top part so of my top part one pipe was left to cut you guys know that already so i will cut it in the middle like this once i cut it in the middle like this i will get two pieces now these two small pieces i will weld on this long pipe in the middle like this i will grind all the parts so that my welding will stick nicely. So here my top part is now ready as you guys can see I'm done welding it. So once you are done with the welding your part should look something like this. So once you make that ready now I will make ready the pole. So for that I will cut a 60 centimeter pipe and as you guys can see that I have cut a 60 centimeter long piece. But on this pipe I will be placing my bearing cap. So that is the reason why I have come here on the late machine to make that cup in which the bearings will fit. Now this cup which holds the ball bearing how you make a cup like that I've recorded the process a little bit. You can watch how to make this cup if you want the first thing is you make a metal piece round shape like this once you make it round by taking the width of the bearing you keep the metal piece fat and you cut it as you guys can see my cup has fallen down here now this cup is put on another machine because the middle hole of this cup you have to widen so that the bearing will fit inside that so the inside part of the bearing cup is cut like this and it is widened according to the bearing size so i was not getting a bearing according to the pipe size that is the reason why i also had to grind the pipe and make it a little bit thin once once your cup is ready, 
ready it will look something like this and the bearing will fit in nicely like this i will not put it fully inside first only because first i will have to weld this cup on my stand after that only i will put the bearing in position the size of this bearing is 6005 you can go in the market and check it out but see that you put a high quality bearing now this pipe i will be putting inside of the bearing this is my stand pipe now the thickness of this pipe is not allowing it to go in the bearing so, so they reduced it a little bit which is not good actually but they have to do it because otherwise it will not go inside once they made it thin it fit inside the bearing easily because once you make it thin it will fit nicely inside the bearing now here they are done making the pipe thin now they are testing by putting the bearing onto it if it is fitting nicely so it is fitting nicely so now they will remove the bearing again because i still have to do the welding job so once i am done with the welding job the last thing that i will do is i will put this bearing in position and i will put the pipe inside of it so here my pipe piece and my bearing cup is now ready so i will go back home now so now the cup which i had made on the lead machine that cup i will fit on the pole now so to fit that i wanted a rod that i wanted to weld on the cup so quickly i prepared these two rods because i I'm preparing two tables so that rod I will weld on my cup now so this is my cup now on this cup I will put the rod from behind like this and I will weld it as you guys can see here I'm doing like this because in the future if I want to remove the bearing then I will get the space to tap the bearing from underneath so that I can bang it from this side and take the bearing out if I fit this directly on the pipe then it becomes very difficult to take out that bearing so to avoid that I'm putting a rod like this on the cup so I will grind the rod and make the edges smooth like this and as you guys can see after using the grinder how the rod looks like now what i am going to do here that i will show you quickly inside this cup i will put the bearing like this inside the bearing i will put the pipe like this and this pipe will be welded to the top part of the table and underneath this cup i will weld that rod now now the top part of my table which i have already welded i will grind it a little bit where i have welded and make that spot flat once you make it flat it will look something like this as you can see here how flat it has become now now the rod which will be going on top of this that also i will grind a little bit so that it becomes easy to weld as you guys can see here so this pipe i will join now on the top part of my table now if you are a welder then you can do these things very easily and if you are a welder and you know a better way to do this type of table then see that you comment below and let me know now here i have welded this rod to the top part of my table now how it looks like you can see here so the next thing is i will weld this rod on the cap so keep that rod exactly in the middle first and once you keep it in position see that you put a tag on it and then weld it on all the sides once you weld it it will look something like this as you guys can see now this cap i will weld on the pole which comes from the base in, inside of this cup the bearing will go so the first thing that i will do is i will connect the pole so keep the pole on top like this and weld it nicely first and once you weld it it will look something like this now since i'm not a welder my welding is not coming out that nice i have just learned this skill by watching videos so the more i practice it the better i will get at it so like this you can learn any skill if you have interest in it so now this pole i will weld on the base of my table and now my table is almost ready but still i have to give it support because it is balanced on only one pole and if i keep some weight on it it will easily break so to give it support i will use 8 mm rods like this which go in the concrete slab now to do this job so many tools are required as you guys can see also so many wires are around so these are the rods which i have cut now so i've cut these rods and i've made them small like this one is three inch rod and one is four and a half inch rod you can cut these rods according to your preference so here i have brought a drill bit and some screws now why i have brought this i will show you further in this video the drill bit is to put these screws inside so before you keep the support see that you make a hole with a drill on the top part of the table and once you make a hole like this i will put the screws inside and i will check if they are going inside properly so like this on all the rods you will have to make a hole and as you guys can see on all the four pipes i have made a hole and i have put the screws now why i have done this that i will show you further in this video but now this four and a half inch rod which i have cut that i will weld like this and give support to my base and the smaller rods i will weld on my top part of the table and give support for that so once once you are done with the welding job your support will look something like this so once you weld these rods my down part is now ready and now it has gained good support so like this you should give support for the table so the only thing that remains now here is putting the bearing inside the cup but i will join both these parts later before that i will put the plywood on top part and to put the plywood put the four screws in position first and then take their marking once you take their marking according to the marking make a hole in the plywood so there will be all together four holes and once you make those holes now finally i can 
put the bearing inside the cup. Now while doing this table, it took me a long time. In between, I could not work on it. My bearing got rusted. My cup got rusted. So before I put it in, I will sand the cup a little bit with the sandpaper. Then I will apply grease on it. And I will also apply some grease on the bearing itself. Then I will keep the bearing in position. Now see that you don't bang the bearing directly with the hammer. Keep something on top of the bearing and hammer it from top of it. So it took a lot of time for the bearing to put inside. But it went inside properly. So like this, you will have to tap the entire bearing inside of the cup. So here my bearing is now totally gone inside of the cup. As you guys can see here, it is gone totally inside. And they have done a very good job of making the cup. If I want, I can even take this bearing out. Because I have kept space from underneath to tap on this bearing. So if I bang it from there, it will come out easily from the top. That is the reason why I have put a rod underneath the cup. Now the top part of my table to which the pipe is connected that will go inside the bearing is rusted as you guys can see. So I will not put it inside like this. I have a chemical here. If I dip it in this chemical then the rust will disappear immediately. You guys, you guys will experience that as you guys can see I have dipped this in the chemical. This chemical is like an acid and let's see how clean it becomes. And as you guys can see the rust which was there on top of the pipe is gone completely. And how clean it has become you guys can see that already. Now you will have to neutralize this. To neutralize this, you will have to dip this in the caustic soda. Now once the rust was gone and once I neutralized this, I will apply grease on top of it. And now I will put this in position. That is inside of the bearing. So apply grease on the inner side of the bearing as well. And as you guys can see, how I have welded the rods to give support for my top part. Now the top part of the table, you will have to bang and put in like this. And as you guys can see how nicely my table is rotating now. Now get the plywood, keep it on top of this and put all the screws which you had made ready. And once you put all the screws, your table is now ready now, as you guys can see that my table is now ready and how nicely it is rotating you guys have experienced that i've done many paint jobs on top of this i don't know if you guys remember that i will put some video shots of the videos where i have used this table just to remind you guys now if you guys know a better and an easier way to make a table like this then see that you comment below and let me know and if you guys are selling a table like this and if you are making a stand which will hold the car door then see that you comment below and let me know so that i can send customers to your place because this type of things you don't get that easily here so if you are doing this type of things then see that you comment below and let me know so i'm hoping that this video was useful to you if you like this video then see that you hit the like button and if you guys have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel then see that you subscribe and press that bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos till then bye and take care